Hello everyone and welcome back to Breath Code and in this video we'll be comparing our Kiwi app into um, an APK so which you will be able to install our Kiwi app in, on your Android phone. So the first thing we need is we need to open up the Google Code because we'll be using a a module known as Buildozer and Buildozer is a program which allows us to turn our Python app into Android apps. Now we need to go to this website known so we need to go to this website towards data science. I'll show leave this link in the description. Now we now I'll show you how we can turn this our own TV app into a real Android app. Now here we've got so many ways. We've got three ways on this website. We have here we have set up virtual Linux. Now which you need to set up a Linux distribution on a Linux machine. So that means um on the Linux machine, if you're using, you can set up Ubuntu, Fedora, Linux Mint, or any you want, as long as it will support the compiling process. Now, don't worry, I'll leave all the commands in the description so you can just go ahead and copy. So you can just go ahead and copy and paste in the terminal. Now we've got the Google Club, and this is what we're using. Don't worry, again, I'll leave the, um, the commands in the description. Now this allows us to now the Google Colab is like a Linux environment. So the first thing pro, the first command we need to run is pip install builders so to install builders in an environment. So you can copy this copy this here. Go on this code cell and paste it in. And now before we do anything funky with this, we can now actually uh, run the we can now actually run the code. So click this a button to run it now and it's going to start in installing bulldozer and things we need and we have it has completed the process of installing bulldozer now we also need to install kivi since this is a new keep it install kivi so the kivi module Click this button to um, start installing it. So this is going to take quite some time. So, and then now it's now it has said successful installed. Now we have successful installed Kivi. We can now continue with these other commands. Now we also need to install Cython, and this is the version number. Now Cython is another module which builders are needs. So create another code cell, so paste it in. Let's run that again to actually end 029.19 is the version number one which we need. Now we can we can just wait for this to do its thing. Now we need to we need to um we also need to install the latest version of Cython because we got this error. I'll just see that guy and we can just see Siphon. Just look for that and select um that and now here we just say this is the version number. So copy the version number here that you can close this since we don't need it. We can remove this and we can include that. And we want this to be a capital C. Let's run our code cell. And it's going to start collecting Cython and start installing Cython. Now it has uninstalled the older version, but then now we have installed the newest version. Now we need to run this long command. Um, don't worry, I'll leave it again. It's in the description. Copy, copy this. And now we create a new one. Paste this, and it's going to be a long command. Um, if you're using Linux, leave the commands in the description run this to run the installation of all these packages we need now and now it's going to just bring us to this now it's going to take quite some time for it ins for the installation to finish Okay, that is now complete. Now we can, con we can now 
Then you, we can now use this command, which is another sudo command. So we can copy this, print another code cell, paste that in, and now click this button to actually run the, the um, installation. Okay, now it's finished. We can create another code cell. Let's go back here. Now we need this long command, which we need to copy. Let's go ahead and see what this command is. We can just paste that in. And this is very long to read. Now we can just actually, can now just, now we can actually run this this command so which means we can go back and scroll through so you can see the sudo thing now we can run it to start installing now it has already started installing because the installation was just very short run the code cell and now we just want to see sudo apt, apt get this um we can let's run that command okay it's done let's go ahead and insert another code cell and we need to upload our we actually need to upload our python file to to our color book with this by clicking this this file icon with the arrow so we actually need to upload all this, including our calculator icon, which is calculator PNG and calculator splash PNG. So we can open that. We get this warning. It won't affect anything, but then we can just click OK. And we have successfully uploaded those. Now we can just say call Buildoza in it. To actually uh, call Buildoza, we want to create our configuration file for our app. Now here we can just call it and now it's just saying Bodos is running as loot, this is not recommended and may lead to problems later. We don't have to worry about that. Let's hit Y to start it. And it's saying build fire buildoza.spec create it ready to customize. So here we have our buildoza.spec file. However, if you don't see it, you can just um right click and then you can just select refresh. But then since I already have my spec file. We can now open this with the text that is based on Google Colab. Now, here is our um, here are all the uh, stuff we need to configure for app. But this is like the main um, configuration for for app. So from this, let's change this from my app to calculator. Calculator. Now we are, need this um, package name. And this because it has to be one word. Now here we now here is for the other requirements. Now here we just say package domain. I'll leave it to all the tests. Now we just so include EXTs. So I already have a Python file, a PNG, because these are the things we need to we need to include. So for example, used a sound like such as MP3. You might include p3, but then the only thing we need is a is a Python file, which is py a png file. Now, add customizing the other ones are optional, and you can even go through down. Now, um, we can look for the please flash and stuff, so we can uncomment this out. Instead, we just want this to be later splash the png and here we we'll just say i going to find it again we can we can just remove changes from calculator png what we we need to handle so now here are the valid options now for example this to be landscape because it's landscape but then i like to keep it mine as portrait portrait for this so we can save this, close this, and now we should put our APK. 
So which means once we build our APK, we're going to be able to install on our phones. So add another code cell. And now here, the command we need to is build us a dash v android debug. And this will build our APK. For android build us a clean, you can run this because adding this is optional. Not just to say, uh, say build dozer, build dozer, the build dozer dash v android debug to build our APK. So now click this button to run the, the building, and now it's going to say it's going to give us this thing. Um, it's going to give us this input. Say check configuration tokens, and you need to continue. Just select Y, and it's going to start compiling it for Android. Now it's going to take quite some time. I wish I will get back to you once this is done. So guys, so the compile the compiling process is complete. Now, um, when I was building the APK, it took quite some time. So if we go in the bin folder, um, we're going to get our APK but it's not visible at the moment but then but then we i have downloaded my apk to my device so um um so we have our apk i will show upload this to my github page so just go ahead and download it on your phone so i will jump onto my phone and show you how to install it you can use google drive OneDrive, however you want to transfer it. but for me i'm going to be using google drive so so i'll see you on my phone so guys now i'm on my phone as you can see on my screen we have our calculator apk file with our app icon now i'm going to show you how to install it so the first thing you need to do is you need to get a file explorer for me i'm going to use the default file explorer on my phone you can use any file explorer that is the es file explorer. you can just get it from the play store or wherever just get a file explorer then you can use it so I'm going to open my default file now to install it just click on your APK file now say install blocked say for security reason your device is set to block of installation of applications not obtained from the play store now it's because we don't have unknown sources on so we can cancel and now open settings on your device and look for wherever it says security select security on your device and now here we just want to see unknown sources and here we can just click ok to turn it on since we need this for downloading apks from other websites let's go back to my files and now download it now here it's just going to say install this application we can now install to install our app so it's going to take quite some time for it to install now it says app installed we can press done and we can close this file explorer my phone is frozen for now of course now it's frozen and here we get our calculator app so let me just place it anywhere and now here we're going to say we can open up our calculator we get our pre-splash clean get our pre-splash screen and it's going to start opening up our app and here we have we have a calculator we can solve anything we want you see 9 times 6 or whatever and here we can also do decimal numbers 1 0 times 3 and we can even add we can even add numbers subtract numbers divide numbers and even multiply them so this is this is how we can so this is how we can compile and install our give up on our on our device so guys this is the end of our kiwi tutorial series with python uh, another tutorial series i've decided to with python is a django tutorial series so be learning web development django if you had any errors or issues while installing um while installing or compiling your app for android then just leave a comment i will sure get back to you so as i mentioned i will start a django tutorial series next time so make sure to subscribe so i miss on that and otherwise, that's it for today. Cheers and goodbye.